Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at what's been happening with the weather. Weather as a weapon? There are some who think the idea is not as preposterous as it seems. Especially when considering that even today, many world governments are pouring millions of dollars into research designed to manipulate weather. I think weather modification has definitely been an ongoing endeavor of governments all over the world for decades. The HARP device appears to be an experiment in weather modification. Who knows what the Russians or the Chinese are doing? There's some sort of technology out there. But the thing is, can we actually manipulate the weather? Can we actually make hurricanes stronger? That is the question. Well, the answer to that is apparently yes. Although it sounds as if it's fiction, conspiracy theory, weather manipulation technology already exists on a certain level. The most well-known of this technology being cloud seeding. We're here in Santa Barbara County, home to one of the longest running cloud seeding operations in the country. Cloud seeding is the most common type of weather modification, and it has many different techniques and applications. Today, it's mostly used to increase rain and snowfall. Traditionally, cloud seeding has been done from the air. So air, airplanes have had racks on them where these same flares are positioned on the airplane and the airplane flies into the storm. The primary seeding agent in this is silver iodide. Silver iodide is a simple compound. It's polar in nature like water. So there's chemical properties that help attract water molecules to silver iodide. It's also structured molecularly similar to ice. So it helps generate or helps spawn the generation of ice buildup. And then that becomes a hailstone or a snowflake that falls here primarily as rain. And then there is this technology described as manual process to moderate the weather. It has been granted an official patent from the United States Patent Trade Office. And according to the patent, other than the federal government, there are other big investors on the project in like 21st Century Fox, uh, Walt Disney Company, and yes, the church, the Vatican. So the thing is, there's some weird information surrounding this because the first person who had this was Andrew Wasmanski, but he passed away in 2007 and he left his patent behind. And then came this guy, Osanaski. He just popped up and said, well, I have an invention and it's almost the same. And he was granted a patent in 2003 for the same thing. Now, Onaski is alleging that the U.S. government is currently using his technology without his permission, and he claimed that they used it on Hurricane Beryl. Yeah, you got me right. Propagating sound through bodies of water to generate and direct wind for the purpose of moderating and affecting weather patterns. Filed April 2nd, 2019. Date of the patent was what? April 25th, 2023 electromagnetic system to modify the weather and that was filed on july 16 2022 publication date was february the 16 2023 by this same guy unaski so the patterns are out there 21st century fox the vatican that's right the catholic church why would they want to be involved in anything with weather modification well it exists and here they are Applicant inventor Osanaski disclosed the invention to 21st Century Fox, Walt Disney Company, a partnership with Advocate Aurora Venture Fund and the Catholic Church. They're all on the patent with him. What is a church doing with weather modification? Look at the circular pattern, right? That's a circular pattern. Now, this was done by Wasmanski. Of course, it was dropped. And Onaski came up with the same idea. That's the patent on the left. This on the right is actually a radar from Hurricane Beryl. What do you notice? The so radar from Hurricane Beryl on the left is the patent or the invention to deal with hurricanes and tornadoes. What does it look like? See any, see any similarities? Right, that's all I'm going to say to you. And then listen to this meteorologist. And he says something very strange 
is a radar and what I want you to notice here because it's coming it's a long distance but I want you to notice the eye shrinking into a perfect donut circular donut it's really rare in mother nature that we get perfectly round things usually something is impeding it impacting it something uh, that keeps it from being around obviously tornadoes are around but this is a rare rare event that we very rare event rare rare event circular you don't get those things on the left is the invention on the right is a radar from hurricane barrel you'll be the judge they're always firing rockets into the atmosphere in china to manipulate the weather but is this a good idea these are forces at work that could wipe out major cities and we're finding out every day new things that we've never seen before so maybe the lesson learned here is we shouldn't meddle with forces that we don't really understand because we may not like the result. I'm going to do a video. We're going to talk about climate change, what they call climate change, what Yas says in his words about that. So we'll take a look at that, all right? But I just brought this information to you. You could do your own research and you can make up your mind as to what you think about it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing. We'll see you in the next video.